Hey guys, my name's Ashley and this is my first video here on YouTube. For this look, I'm going to be using all Anastasia Beverly Hills new eyeshadows, which are amazing. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, then please keep watching. So beforehand, I already applied my moisturizer and some tea tree water, so I'm just going to start with Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer all over my face and a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lids. And then I'm going to go in with chapstick just to get my lips ready for lipstick later. So we're going to jump right in with foundation and I'm using L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in the shade N12 or Soft Ivory and I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender to apply this. I'm going to be applying the foundation by pressing it into my skin with the beauty blender. You really want to make sure that you're using pressing and patting motions rather than dragging and sweeping so that you're not dragging the foundation off of your face. So the first shadow I started with is Soft Peach and I used an E25 brush by Sigma and I blended that into my crease really messily. Next I went in with the color Dusty Rose and I used an E35 brush by Sigma and I blended this in my crease but I tried to focus this more on the outer corner. Next I went in with the color Sienna on that same E35 brush and I basically blended this into my crease as well but I pulled this color a little bit further down onto my eyelid still being sure that I did not blend it all the way down to the lash line. I wanted to leave a little bit of open space in the lash line and the inner corner. Then I went back in with the E25 brush and just blended all the colors together. By layering these three colors on top of each other, it really creates that gradient effect that I was going for. Then I went in with the color Deep Plum on that E25 brush again. And with this color, I really tried to focus it mostly on the outer corner. I used it to just darken up the look a little bit and create a bit more of that gradient effect that I was going for. And then once again going back in with that E25 brush just to blend everything together. I really just tried to blend out the crease and smoke it out just so there was no harsh lines and everything really had that gradient effect. Then I went in with a color a couple shades lighter than my skin tone on a flat brush and I just put this color all over my lid and in the inner corner just to brighten up the area where I might have gotten a little bit too much of the shadow from before. Lastly I went in with my favorite color for highlighting. It's Nylon by MAC and I just applied that underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner. Now moving on to the brows. I always start with a spoolie and just brush out my brows. And then I use an angled brush, uh, this brush I think is from Sigma, just any angled brush will work. And then going in with these eyebrow powders from Sigma, I start with the darker powder, Scarlet, and I use that to fill in the tail and then to outline the rest of my eyebrow. And then I go back in with the lighter shade, Bella, and use that to fill in the rest of my eyebrow. I use little short swiping motions to try to imitate hairs and not have too heavy of a hand. And then I'll use the spoolie just to brush out my eyebrows and really blend everything together. Now for contouring, I'm going to be using the NARS Eda brush and the Anastasia contour kit. I use the shade Fawn to begin with just to chisel out my cheekbone underneath my cheek, being sure not to bring it too far down on my face. I normally stop where the tip of my eyebrow ends. Then I go up along my hairline, around my temple, and down towards the tip of my eyebrow. And then I take it down on my jawline, just underneath my chin, and I blend it up towards my ear there, just to blend everything together. Next, going in with a MAC 109 brush in the shade Java, I use that really once again just to blend everything out, just so I don't have that real harsh line on my face, and so that it looks more natural. Then I'll take a little bit of Java and blend it down onto my neck, just to really blend, once again, blend everything together, and you really want your face to be the same color as your neck. Now for concealer, I use the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade, mm, I think it's Chantilly? Sorry if I said that wrong. And I'm just gonna take that and pat it underneath my eyes and then down the center of my nose and on top of my cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna once again go in with that damp beauty blender and just pat the concealer into my skin. No swiping, just to be sure that you don't move it all over your face and mess up all that contouring that you just did. You just continue to blend and blend and blend some more. Basically, the whole key to this look is just blending. 
the more that you blend everything, the better it'll look. For blush, I use this Maybelline highlighting blush in the shade Mauve. And then I just use an angled brush to apply that right above where my contour is and down onto the apple of my cheek. And then after I do all that, I go back in with my beauty blender just to blend everything together so that the bronzer, the blush, and the concealer all blend together nicely. Now going back in with that 109 brush and the shade Banana, I pat that underneath my eyes and then I go in with the shade Vanilla and I put that on top of my nose, my cupid's bow, and underneath my chin. Now for liner, I'm going to be using this gel liner by L'Oreal in the color Black is Black and I'm using an angled brush and I'm just going to start by pressing that brush into my lash line just to get a really thin line and then I'm going to go across the lash line very, very carefully just to get a very smooth, fluid line. I actually had a really hard time trying to get this on camera, but then I go out and do the wing and I just basically start by making that little wing. I aim it up towards the tail of my eyebrow and then I connect it to the line that I've already done on my lid. And then I chose to bring it down onto my lower lash line just ever so slightly in the outer corner there. This is what works for me and I feel like with liner there's so many different methods and ways to doing it so whatever you're comfortable with and however you can get the best smoothest line. Now for lips, I use the lip liner Whirl by MAC to outline and then fill in my lips and then I use the lipstick 1995 by Gerard Cosmetics and it was actually created by Jaclyn Hill who is one of my favorite people to watch here on YouTube so I really love this color it works for every look it just always looks good so yeah Before I do mascara, I'm going to set my skin using the Scandinavia Moisture Lock Setting Spray and I just spray that all over my face. And then I'm going to prep my lashes for mascara by first curling them and I just use pulsing motions and then I'm going to go in with this Mary Kay Lash Primer just on my top lashes. For mascara today, I was trying out the Makeup Forever mascara. It's a little sample size, and I actually really liked it. It seemed to be pretty lengthening and not too clumpy, which is the type of things that I look for in mascara. And then I always go in with a second mascara just to really try to comb out my lashes and just separate them. I really don't like to have clumpy lashes. And lastly, I just added a little bit of nude eyeliner to my waterline just to make my eyes look really open and awake. So here's the finished look. And of course, I'm gonna take a couple selfies. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please subscribe. Hopefully I'll be putting out more videos really soon. I'm really excited about starting here on YouTube. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye!